Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is season 31, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called the Lost Souls Found Unite. All right, so we're gonna spectate. It's a little bit later than I usually get in here. Yep, so uh, I take path three in sections one and two. And looks like I'll be facing this Colossus. Uh, I'm thinking right now to bring in Corvus for that. Mini is already down. There's no other fight there. Let's see. Uh, I can bring in Nick Fury if I need to, although somebody might have a better time with him, but Nick Fury can do that fight. Uh, I don't mess with Mixmaster if I can help it. And then we've got Professor X here. Uh, Corvus can do that fight. Uh, Nick Fury could do that fight, depending on what shape he's in. I'd take him in there. And then in Section 3, uh, Corvus can take both those fights there. Now, for this fight uh, against uh, Silver Surfer, because of the high ground, Warlock, I, I don't like this fight. I don't like that global, this high ground global here because my Warlock will uh, degen. And I took so much damage with Warlock. So preferably I will not be messing with that fight. Um, so I will bring Corvus, Nick Fury, and probably Spider-Man 2099 uh, if I'm needed to take that boss down. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 would be a good one to uh, to use there. So I think that'll be the team. So Corvus, Nick Fury, Spider-Man 2099. All right, let's uh, get to it. All right, we are back. And we are going to go in with the team that I mentioned earlier. Uh, those are the champions that they have banned. Uh, doesn't affect me. I was not planning on using any of them. So uh, it's all good. Now, in the last war, I didn't get a chance to fight a lot. But I make up for it in this war. I actually do get a chance to fight the boss. So unlike the last war where I did all this planning and then uh, woke up the next day and everything was over and I got to fight like two or three times, uh, we actually get to fight uh, more often in this war. All right, so first one we're going to fight is this Colossus. So, of course, I'm going to fight him with uh, Corvus. Now, anytime you see me go in with uh, six-star Corvus, you know that the AQ was not on. But if you see me, like I'm doing here, Going in with a five-star Corvus is because my six-star Corvus is in AQ. And AQ, for me, has always been a priority. So if I have to choose, they're going to get the best chance. That's also why you don't see my six-star uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Because uh, on the path I take, which is path five, map eight, there's a Nova at the end. And she rocks his world. So that's who I bring in, my six-star Black Widow Clairvoyant for that Nova. All right, so Colossus is down. We've got another mission, our first mission of the war. And didn't have to fight anybody else in that first section. All right, now we've got this second section here. Um, we got Doom, and it's Power Snack. Backup recovery, Outlast. Power Snack, I can ignore with Spider-Man 2099 if I want to because he doesn't have any buffs. But I was thinking of what I want to do 
with this Doom because I'm trying to save my Spider-Man 2099 for the boss if I get a chance, which I do. Um, but just my thinking at that time was I want to save Spider-Man 2099 for the boss. All right, so all I'm planning to do here is blitz him down, okay? You know, just, just get him down, bleed him up. Uh, we've got our six-star Nick Fury uh, that I finally used an Awakening Gem on. And I won't even mind getting uh, more SIG levels on him because it'll make his second life, the second phase, uh, last longer. That's all it does. All right, so I got clipped a little bit. And I was like, wait, what just happened? I know how to evade his specials. So I'm just like, okay. But th this time they're working. It's working. We're good. All right. I don't mind him firing his specials off. You know, it, it keeps me from having to worry about him getting to a special three or anything. And at this point in the fight, I couldn't remember. Okay, there we go. The rest of the... It would not let me dash back. I've been having that problem lately, which is why I did the indestructible just in case. But at that time, I couldn't even remember if it was the real Nick Fury out. I wish they had some sort of a visual to let me know when the real Nick Fury is out, because that would help when you're fighting him. If you go in and he's got, you know, a little bit of health, it might help you know immediately, but who knows? All right, so now this Mixed Master one, I was like, no, that's enough fighting. Uh, it was late at night. I wasn't going to do that. All right, so they cleared that. And this time, they did not clear my path. Uh, so unlike the last war, I actually got a chance to uh, fight my path. Uh, that time zone thing is, is crazy because they're, they're the most active when I'm asleep. But... We make it work. We're making it work. Uh, sometimes if the uh, backup is not needed anywhere and they've already gotten everything done, he may as well clear my path and keep going. You know, so sometimes he does. All right. So here we're going to get another mission. This is the tech mission. So we've got one mission from Colossus, which is the mutant one here. This one is the tech mission. And, uh, I don't believe he's an Avenger. I can't remember. But all I was thinking of was the tech for uh, this mission here. Okay. Boom, boom. He's done. Okay. So that's it. We'll know if I get a three in the next fight with Corvus, then he was an Avenger. Otherwise, no. All right. Now, this is a really nasty placement for uh, Penny Parker. All right, and yeah, he was, uh, doesn't look like he was an Avenger. But Corvus, really good for fighting Penny Parker. All right, so let me uh, make this a little bit bigger so I can see it. Yeah, okay. So just look at this. Now, I fight her in uh, map eight all the time in AQ. And I usually do it with heavy attacks because on that boss node, heavy attacks are buffed up. And with Corvus, it, it, it destroys. 22K crits and stuff like that. It's nasty. Um, but against her, wasn't that big of a deal, okay? Um, I fought her with some other champs and she was a pain. She was really a pain. Okay, now check this out, guys. So let me tell you what was happening here. I was like, okay, um, I don't know what they were doing, but then I went away, came back and look at that. The boss is ready. So I said, oh yeah. And I did not know. I didn't notice that this was a rank four apocalypse. I didn't know that when I went back to edit my video, that's when I saw that it was actually a rank four apocalypse. So going into this, I'm just like, hey, I know how bad Spider-Man 2099 is against these uh, bosses. All right. Put on that invulnerability boost just in case, 
you know? And I'm just like, all right, we got this. Didn't even notice how buffed up this uh, apocalypse was. Now, I got to admit to you guys, I am not an expert at fighting with Spider-Man 2099. I do not know what I'm doing for the most part. You know, I know a few things, but not enough. All right, so I'm running suicides and I've watched some other folks who don't run suicides, don't have an awakened Spider-Man 2099. And it looks like their fights take longer, which makes sense. But basically, all I'm doing here is firing off special ones to get some physical vulnerabilities, firing off special twos. I am not really planning anything. And I've watched some other videos since this. Um, be, be sure to leave comments if you have some uh, ideas on how best to play Spider-Man 2099. But basically what I've found was you want to get those ruptures up a lot. Now, I want you to look at his health. One of the problems with fighting uh, against a rank four, you know, apocalypse, is just a lot of damage, a lot of block damage. But Spider-Man 2099, he gets a reduction as long as they're under a true strike or a true damage. All Alliance War bosses are under, um, I believe it's a true strike, um, don't know if it's also true damage. It might be both. But in any case, going up against an Alliance War boss with Spider-Man 2099, you're going to be wonderfully buffy. You know? And look at this. I'm running suicides. Did you see me run and, and fire off specials? It's also minimizing my recoil damage. Look at this. Look at his health. And I'm firing specials like crazy. I'm not even worried about it. I know some people don't like the uh, what they call the ouchy masteries, but look at him. It's crazy. He's at 100% health at this point. And this rank four apocalypse is less than 50% health. Look at it, he's down to 30. So right at this point, I'm getting a little cocky. I'm just like, oh, I got this. We got this, okay? So I'm just like, yeah, you see how I just, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna even let you do that. And then suddenly my control said, oh no, we're not doing that. We don't want you to have an easy time of this. So now I'm just trying to bait out his special. Okay, the invulnerability uh, boost that I put on, but look at this, I'm just, I'm just trying to get it out. Okay, finally, boom, boom, boom. I'm in the corner at this point. And I'm like, no, I don't like being in the corner. Don't like being in the corner. Here, have some of that. And that's a lot of damage. Lots of damage. And you see that? I'm just like, no heavy. Get on out of here. I don't want to be in that corner. Okay? Just whittling them down. Whittling them down. Look at this. Now, I'm starting to take more damage. And I, I still didn't know why I was taking a lot more damage at this point. Uh, because I wasn't getting hit a lot. So, um... I, I see that there's some uh, poison, and, the, and then I saw there was some degen damage. So that's probably what was doing it. So leave a comment below and let me know uh, where that damage came from. And on the final screen, it does show uh, a nice little breakdown of where my damage, you know, the damage sources. But just look at this. This is a rank four apocalypse. And I know people are like, oh no, Spider-Man 29 is not that tanky. Yeah, but against war bosses he is. He is very tanky and as you can see, I'm not worried about no damage. He's taking that damage down. Now we are under one minute. And I'm just like, okay, we got this. We got plenty of time left. Boom, he's done. And we had about 40 seconds left and probably could have done it faster, but I'm still learning how to fight with him. All right, so you can see the damage sources that I took, all that good stuff, okay? Um, but that was the fight. That was an awesome boss fight for Spider-Man 2099. All right, so we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended.
And we're back, but unfortunately, we lost that war. Just too many deaths. Uh, even though I got that one shot on the boss, we just had too many deaths. All right, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.